tailwind inverter spotter, 14,000 Smart Aqua front control panel. Upon first switching on the machine, you will be presented with this screen. Simply press start. It will ask you to choose which arm you want and you can just scroll through here and choose the arm that you've got in the gun. We've got the CA1, so we're going to select that one. We press it and it will, if, if Smart Aqua was selected beforehand, it will ask you now for, for an alignment of the gun. So we need to press the button and hold it down. Basically what it's doing here is it's checking the circuit and measuring the gap so that it knows when you put a piece of steel inside the uh, electrodes. If everything is okay and it's happy with the caps and it gets a good reading, it will come into the smart autosat mode. All we do now is simply weld and it will measure the thickness, measure the resistance and it will give you an optimum weld to produce a 6mm welding nugget. On the bottom left hand corner we have the back button, if you press the back button it takes you into the background settings of the welder and as you can see the smart auto set is selected. If you press the button we can now toggle across to easy mode or we can go into manual mode and we can also do a thickness test. So what we're going to do is go into easy mode. Now when you're in easy mode what it allows you to do is put certain thicknesses in of the material that you want to weld. But really this is just an approximation because there is too many variables. So you need to treat this type of setting as just a setting. You can put in here what you want, but it's what you get on the material that is important. As you can see here we've selected 1.9mm and 1.9mm and we're also using it in the FE standard mode. But we can move and put zinc coated, HSS and boron in there if we wanted to. Again, this is not important. All I would simply do is give yourself a uh, panel and I would just pr produce a weld. And what you're looking for is the size of the spot weld. If the size of the spot weld is the size that you want, then use this setting. If it's not, then change it. So we want this setting. So what we're going to do is press it. We're going to come down to the 1.9. And we're going to turn it up. Go to 2.5. 2.5. Now you, you don't have to match these up. You can have them different. You can have whatever you want. It makes no differences whatsoever. So now we're going to do another weld. As you can see the weld is getting slightly bigger we've had a current of 8038 amps and we can just keep going up until we get the diameter that we need as you can see the gun is quite sensitive so we're just going to turn it up and we're just going to do another weld The one at the top is the weld that we need. Pressing the back button again. Pressing back again. Manual mode allows us to change all of the parameters in the weld. This is like a professional mode. So here we can tell it what arm, what tip we're using, if we're using a different tip shape. And we can go through the Synergic program. So here we have a pulse weld. So this is your first little preheat weld. And then we have a gap before we do a slope up. And then we go into our pulse weld whereby we can alter our current and we can alter our time in between our welds. So as you can see, 70% power. We have a gap of one, one pulse, then a gap of 10 milliseconds before it does a 35% weld actually at the moment that's switched off so it's not even used. Again this is professional setting and really for normal average everyday use we wouldn't recommend that you change it. To come back out of this we can go into the 
maintenance mode where we can select auto down and we can change the pressure settings. We can also go into setup of the welder and we can go into the service manual. That's what my engineers will go into when they're servicing the welder. We can also then come down to jobs and when you save the button, remember before we had a button here it said start recording. We can actually import settings, we can save that setting, etc, etc. We're going to go back into easy mode. Oops, tick. Easy mode. Okay. And here you can see we have a USB for collecting our data.